So a staff accountant reached out to me on Instagram. In case you don't know, I'm an, I'm an accountant, right? And so they reached out to me on Instagram saying that uh, they've been working in accounting for about six years and they've been stuck in the role of staff accountant. Unfortunately, they haven't been promoted to senior accountant in either companies that they've worked at. And they see me recommending state and government accounting jobs. So... They were saying that they've been trying for years to, to get into a government job for accounting, but they said it's been very, very difficult to get their foot in the door. Now, there's a lot to unpack here. OK, so they also asked uh, they were wondering that in such unique circumstances, if I would recommend them pursue the CPA. Uh, they said it would guarantee a higher level position outside of being just a staff accountant. And um, they figured it'd be great to make a video about it because there's other colleagues that they have who are in basically the same situation. So there's a lot to unpack here, okay? So first off, you're working in public accounting. So CPAs are for public accounting, but there's different types of accounting. Right. You have audit, you have public accounting, you have internal audit, you have external audit, you have assurance services, you have bookkeeping. There's so many different types of accounting roles. And of course, I've never worked in public accounting, never worked in public accounting. I've only been in accounting for the government whether or not that's been a, as, a, as a federal employee or as a contractor. I've only done accounting for the government. So my experience and my knowledge base is primarily geared towards that. And of course, a CPA is, you could say, the golden standard. It's just I don't know a lot of CPAs who, who work in my field of uh, expertise. Right. There's not a lot of CPAs that I've worked with in the government. It's just because it's, it's CPA stands for certified public accountant. Where the government now does the government still recognize the CPA? Yes. It just it's not really necessary for most of the jobs since it's not public accounting. It's government accounting. They have CGFM, Certified Government Financial Manager. They have the CDFM, Certified Department of Defense Financial Manager. Uh, they mainly, and because I worked in audit, mainly it was a lot of CFE, Certified uh, Fraud Examiner uh, Certification. So there was a lot of those CIA, Certified Internal Auditors. Um, and then there was a couple CPAs as well, but most people were probably CFEs because I worked in audit, which is still accounting, which is still an accountant's job. You must be an accountant to be an auditor. So because of that, that's where my expertise comes from. But have I seen GS-15, GS 15s with no certification whatsoever. Yes. Have I seen people make one hundred and forty thousand as 13s and 14s uh, just 14s with no CPA? Yes. Yes. I, you know, I definitely have seen it. Um, so can you make six figures with no certification whatsoever? Yeah. Can you make it without a CPA? Absolutely. But this is on the government side and you're talking about on the public accounting side. It may be completely different. I'm not very well versed in that space, but I can guide you. Uh, I can guide you into a job for the government, though, that I can do um, that I know a lot about. OK, so you say you've been doing this for years. So here's my advice on this. If you said that you've been doing you've been trying to get a job with the government now, I've, like I and also my experience has only been with the federal government. I have never I've never worked with I've never I've never been employed by a state. State and local government, I've never done that. I've never worked at a city in government contract, I mean, um, in, in 
accounting. I've never worked for the state for accounting, only federal. I've only worked federally. So if you are finding an issue with getting a federal position, then there's a few things that you are probably doing wrong. Because once you're doing it right, it definitely wouldn't take you wouldn't have taken you years more than likely to get in. If now it does take some time, the onboarding process, finding a position that matches up with where you feel like you should be financially, things like that. It, it may be a learning curve. It, it, maybe you don't even know what the position really is. You might just only be looking for accountant. If you're only looking for the word accountant, you're missing a bunch of other accounting jobs, budget analyst positions. You're missing financial manager positions. You're missing uh, CFO positions. Like you would actually have to search chief financial officer positions. You're missing auditors. You're missing some some audit positions. They're not called audit audit positions. They're they're not called auditor. They're called. Um, program management analysts. Some of those positions are inside of the program management analyst title. And, uh, and mostly they did that because there were not a lot of qualified accountants who were seeking, who actually had accounting degrees, who were seeking to, you know, and, and they still needed to get people in jobs. So they had to kind of open it up for a period of time to people who did not have necessarily an accounting degree. And so they couldn't sit in roles that were titled auditor or accountant because of that. So there's some things that you would just need to learn about. And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm open to send me an email or message me again on, on Instagram and I can maybe kind of guide you along what you like how like what you might need to look for, um, what job series numbers you may need to be looking for, what verbiage you need to put in the search in order to pull up the job that would be maybe an ideal fit for you. And uh, there's also the resume. The resume is 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 extremely important. So when you say you've been working for years to get in, I don't, you know, I'm not being funny here, but how hard were you trying? Because if you were trying really, really hard and we're, we're all accountants, you're an accountant, I'm an accountant, you know, we smart people, you know, you're a smart person. So with you being a smart person, I'm going to say it straight up. You ain't try hard enough. I'm gonna just say it straight up. You ain't try hard enough. You're too smart. You're too smart to feel like. So when I say you ain't try hard enough, I mean I don't. I don't. You know, like like let's just say you ain't try smart enough. Let's let's say that you ain't try smart enough, not hard enough. You know, they could be the hardest. We'll be the smartest, right? So you didn't try smart enough, right? So break it down, right? I'm an auditor, so I always look for you know the five elements of a finding. What's the problem? So. The problem is, well, let's let's break it down into audit standard or audit verbiage. There's five elements of a finding, right? Condition, cause, criteria, effect, and recommendation, right? So not, I ain't put it in a particular order, but you get it. Let's look at it like so, this. You are trying to get a job for the government, but you're not getting a job for the government. And there's some issues with you... Um, you know, that when, however you're applying, it's missing something, okay? So we gotta get, we gotta get your condition up to the criteria. The criteria is where you are getting a job, like where you got everything turned in the way that they want it and everything. Your condition is you're not getting a job because you don't have all the things that they want and the cause is you're not getting, I mean, the effect is you're not getting a job. So I recommend let's raise up your, um, let's raise up the things that or fit um, into their criteria so that you can, you know, then start getting approved and getting some interviews and getting into the job. So what we need to do is we need to assess your your stuff like I don't know what you're applying with but I would say your resume probably needs some work 
um, your your job search probably needs some work um, and you got to get in, in in some cases you, you got to start going out and meeting people because maybe you don't know what you don't know right I mean how could you know what you don't know so you got to get out and you got to start meeting some government people who are working in these spaces and that would be one of my main suggestions to you right like is you you gotta you gotta get out there and and start meeting people um if because like i said you said years you've been trying to get into the government for years there's the aga association for government accountants there's uh the is it the, not i don't want to say aicpa because that's the cpas but you can join these different organizations like the one the i think the uh, AGA has the CGFM. I can't remember who has the CDFM, but these are these are pinpointed government government organizations. Well, nonprofit accounting organizations that you can join. Even I believe even as a person who doesn't work for the government, and you can or you can just go to some of their events and meet the people. But like I said, you don't know what you don't know. You don't know what you don't know. So I'm telling you right now, you could go do these things. But that would be my my suggestions to work smarter, not harder. You know. So yeah. But feel free message me on, on Instagram. Send me an email. Um, but send it to Casino is the name at Gmail. That's my business email for you know this kind of stuff. So. Um, yeah, so anyway, right now you're watching Casino is a Name. If you find any value in this video, please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and we out. There are hedge fund managers making a million dollars an hour. You know, it's crazy, right? There's money everywhere. There's money in everything. I want to help you. Start your business today. Come join my royal family. Subscribe to Casino is the name.